Hey guys, what's going on? This is Homie Drew. Today we're going to be checking out Validate. This game is published by Vertible Joy Studios, developed also by Vertible Joy Studios. So
All right, can you hear me? Is that better? What about now? Hopefully that fixed it. Okay. I wonder if, <laughs> wonder if it's the batter in my headset. Just let me know if it, um, you can let me know if it goes out again. Hopefully not. I don't know if my headset's battery's low or not. I can't, I don't think I have a way to see that. I don't really want to go all the way into the settings. Just let me know if it uh, goes out again. So yeah, I was saying, uh, so this is called Validate. Um, it's kind of like a visual novel, I guess. It's by uh, Vertible Joy Studios, uh, published and developed it. All right, let's see here. Uh, but if you subtweet me again, we're going to have issues. All right. I promise. Can you pick her up tonight? I gotta get I gotta get in the zone. Yeah, this is an indie game. I don't it's not on Game Pass, I don't think. Got the store pages and look at it. Uh, my homie told my homie told me some label people are coming to the show and I gotta get in on my S H I T. You sigh, dropping your phone into your lap and grabbing the aux cord. It only takes a moment to adjust a few settings and pull up the bound cloud app. I love how they replace all, all the words with the B. We got, uh, he works at Bob Eyes. He's pulling up the bound cloud app. It's kind of funny. I mean, I see where they do it, but. Hey, Cozy. How you doing today? Welcome on in. Good to see you. Keep the volume up in AD. All right. No worries, Drogue. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate the lurk as well. All right. You don't realize how how exhausted you are until you finally sit down. Oh, I was going to say, uh, Rogue, I'm probably going to do a, I'm going to try and do a few uh, different games too. So we're just starting with this one. Uh, doing pretty good here, Cozy. Uh, tonight we're just checking out um, some indie games. So this first one's called uh, Validate uh, Struggling Singles in Your Area. I apologize. I have to look this way because that's where my TV is. Um, there's too much of a delay if I was to do it like from looking at my computer screen, unfortunately. So I have to kind of look at the TV. Um, let's see here. You don't realize how exhausted you are until you finally sit down. Your head rolls back to rest on the space between behind you as you think it over. You are always going to say yes because you can never say no to Alice. So again, Alice is baby mama number two. <laughs> uh, let's see. After all, she's the woman you consider your first love and Rhea, the daughter you always wanted. But Alice had different plans. She didn't want to be a mother after Rhea was born and her rap career started picking up. And you grew jealous and began fighting with her over the smallest things. Ever since then, your relationship has been on a melting iceberg, and one of these days it is going to dissolve, leaving you both drowning. Uh, Rhea was your first child, but she was the first one you felt a connection to. Well, yeah, I would, <laughs> I would think you had to have a connection to your first daughter, or your first kid in that sense you know that's messed up to the point messed up to admit but it is really the truth maybe because she was a product of everything you always wanted a child to a woman you loved and even though she was an accident you still cherish her like she was meant to be here it's an odd way to look at it uh, or at least you try to you're focused on other things making music that will bring you money and fame so you can give her the life she deserves it's like i gotta scratch my eye i just got a little itchy uh so you can give her your so you can give your mother a second chance at life on her own without the poopiness of your father thanks cozy i appreciate that i try to be try to entertain here uh but alice but alice had the same dreams she wanted fame and she deserved it too she could wrap circles around the majority of 
SoundCloud rappers and deserve every hit she got. Uh, and she loved Rhea. You could never call her a bad mother. But she was obviously focused on her career more than her child. And you both realized that both of you can't focus your focus on your careers and a child. So you took the backseat. So you took the backseat for her while she while she built herself up. Okay, it's gonna to be a lot. Um, uh, so this is called validate struggling singles in your area. Um, checking this out on the uh, Xbox Series X. Um, not sure what other platforms it's on. Let me check here for you. Cursor. Wrong keyboard. So this is, let's see here. Are they struggling? I'm sure it's on all of them. Let's see. So it says it's on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox. I don't know if it's on Steam or not. It's, oh, it's on Steam. So it's on all, on all, on all platforms. Looks like. All right, let's see here. Um, I already read all that. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll be there in ten. Thanks. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Oh, <laughs> it's getting excited. Uh, it's interesting so far. Let's see here. <laughs> the emojis. Uh, Cozy, I just I like to check out uh, all sorts of games. So, you know, if it looks interesting, I usually check it out. So that's kind of why I picked this one. Uh, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up too high. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> hey, at least he's honest, right? She replies, but you don't bother looking. Knowing her, it was probably a witty remark or a bunch of emojis. The thought of it makes you smile, sitting up straight as you pull off in the direction of her apartment. Sounds like he still has a thing for her, even though she's an ex. I don't know. You you make sure to clean your back seat before you make your way up to the foot of her door. You used to have a key, but she took it from you the last time you got into it and you never bothered to ask for it back. Instead, you throw her a quick text and lean against the railing as you wait. So I'm not quite sure how long this is. Um, we'll see how long it is. All right, so this is Rhea Patterson, preschool student, and uh, his daughter. Hey, Cozy, thank you so much for the 40 bits. I appreciate that. Super kind of you. Thank you very much. You rock. <laughs> All right, uh, she opens the door, Rhea sound asleep against her shoulder. You know Rhea's about to grow out of her booster seat, booster seat anyway, but you're gentle as you take her from Alice and place her in it. So she's preschool, so how old is preschool? So she's not a, maybe like, let's see, I don't even know, age four to four to seven maybe? want to play <laughs> hey possibly <laughs> uh, let's see here you take a moment to make sure she is situated and she and she and she and still I can't I'm trying to read too quickly here apparently she is situated and still asleep before locking the door and making your way back up to the steps Alice is staring at you with admiration written all over her face for a moment you feel like you're 20 20 again taking her out on your taking her out on your first date He's like, what's up alice how you doing what's up alice <laughs> all right uh she used to get so excited whenever you pulled when you pulled up to her parents she used to get so excited whenever you pulled up to her parents' house, bouncing out with a new CD in her hand, tumbling into your car, and kissing you like she hasn't seen you in years. Uh, that was when you, you two were young and dumb, not a worry in this world. Honestly, like, when I was young, I felt like that was probably the best because it was, everything was, like, such carefree. Everything was so much easier going. You didn't have to worry about working. 
let's see. Uh, well, besides your mother not liking her. Well, besides your mother not liking her. But that's a memory you'd rather not think of. Your mother not... Oh, his mother didn't like her. Okay. I took a minute to acknowledge. Okay. Someone's happy to see me. <laughs> she doesn't speak. Probably spacing out again. Well, she said she was high, so... Uh, you reach you reach for the overnight bag in her hand, slinging it over your shoulder with a quick glance towards your car to make sure Rhea is still sound asleep. You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> he hugs you, and you have to adjust the bag over your shoulder to return the embrace. Your eyes close as you allow yourself to enjoy this. Despite it being a few years since you two broke up, you still have love for each other. Okay, so they still do love each other. All right, no worries, Rogue. Um, every woman you tried to find her in... What? Every woman you tried to find her in but couldn't succeed. So they hug. You're the one to pull away, and even then, her arms still cling around you, and you have to force yourself to set the bag down to properly hug her, pressing a kiss to her forehead. Yeesh. Sounds complicated. Uh, I think so. <laughs> or I guess I just did, right? Uh, what if this is the one? What if this is my big break? Then it's your big break. You've always wanted this, haven't you? Yeah, but... You feel her chest heave against your own, your hand moving to rub at her back. I might get x-rated here. <laughs> uh, but what about her? It's not like you can take care of her all by yourself. So he's having doubts, okay? She's right, but it still hurts to hear. You both know you aren't fit to be a, you both know you aren't fit to be a father, much less a father of two. And she knew you and your other baby mama. Tara. Tara? Terra weren't on good terms either. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, you, you'll, you pull away your attention towards the car as you speak. You know, becoming famous doesn't apt. You know, becoming famous doesn't absolve you from being a mother. You can't use my own words against me, Malik. Malik. I told you the same thing when I found out I was pregnant. She did, and ever since, you've been taking life a bit more seriously. Making sure you have enough money to take care of yourself and your ki and your two kids. Oh, he has another kid, too. Okay. Um, and your two kids, in case anything happens. Music was just a side hustle that you'd hoped would make you successful one day and if it did well you would still be a father of two even with a successful music career all right i should go so soon you don't want to sit and talk like old times he's like i want to get out of here it's late the one thing you hate about alice is how quick she has to turn on you. One moment, she wants you to hold her for hours, just like things never changed. And the next, she never wants to see you again and has you blocked on all social media. And despite wanting to sit on the steps, listening to the distant car noises and light, chatter from the neighbors, it's nearly midnight and you should probably get, get some sleep yourself. Probably a good idea. Call me after the show or whatever. Yeah, 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 I'll call you out of the show, after the show. Yeah, I will, I will. She looks upset, but you can't really do anything about it. Well, you can, but you just don't want to. It may be selfish of you, but you have things of your own you want to do, and you're unsure how much time is left before your body shuts down on you. You give her... You give her forehead one last kiss before picking up the bag and slinging it over your shoulder. Once you reach the bottom of the steps, you look back to see her still standing there, leaning against the doorway 
as she looks at you. Her usual smile, the smile you fell in love with all of those years ago is gone. You feel guilty, but not guilty enough to do anything about it. You toss Rhea's bag beside her before getting in the driver's seat, shooting her one last glance before driving off. Get out of there before baby number three, right? Ugh. It's like a tough situation this guy's in. Uh, the ride home is short, but it gives you some time to think. A stoplight switches to red. You stop and glance back at your sleeping daughter in your rearview mirror. A piece of hair falls over her face, and you reach back to sweep it out of the way. Your life is in your control, yet you continue to make bad and selfish decisions. How long before that catches up to you? The little big break. So it looks like we're in another chapter here. New struggling single in your area. Yolanda. We got Yolanda. 28. What do we want to do? Do we want to heart her or do we want to exit? I mean, I feel like he's just trying to find love, you know? But if we do, I mean, he already had, he does have two baby mamas. I don't know if we want to have another one here. We're going on a date. But it is just a date. Hmm. I'm going to say no. We'll swipe left on her. Yeah, that's true. It gives us more options. Uh, what I do today, I just, uh, I worked. Nothing crazy. And then I uh, came home. I ate. Now I'm streaming. Wait, I thought we X'd her. Okay, let's go back. I feel like it was telling me I should have continued. Oh, okay. I get, apparently, we're supposed to continue. I don't know if we have to do that. Oh, no. I just Okay, so it just continued us back in. All right, so it's telling us we have to... What if we do... Let's try something here. Let's X... And then it's going to pop up the thing again. What happens if we hit send? What does that do? Send. I don't know what's going on. Here. Girl at the poetry slam. All right. Looks like it brought us to a different um, chapter, maybe. All right. In the past few months, you have gotten a better understanding of how life has been treating you. The mothers of your children have left you alone for the most part. Oops. Go back here at least since you started taking your kids to school and picking them up whenever they asked. Okay. You made an effort to get closer with your kids outside of the basic childish blank you found yourself indulging in. Childish stuff. Side note, why the freak does your daughter like Peppa Pig so much? Why the freak does any kid like Peppa Pig? Something about those eyes haunts you, and you find yourself looking away whenever she puts it on. But the one thing you still find troubling is the trajectory of your rap career. You have a decent following on BoundCloud, and people are talking about your music locally. Uh, what do I do for work? I, I do uh, customer service. Uh, maybe because you have sorted, maybe because you have sort of shifted from serious rap to comedy rap, doing stuff to appeal to the big box crowd you begrudgingly accepted. Who knew it would be so easy to get teens to do crap, crummy dances to your uh, messed up music? I'm trying to keep it a PG here. <laughs> Wrapping off the on a 
Kubrick break appears to be the pinnacle of music these days. And as much as you hate to admit it, it's getting you a lot more attention than the things you put your heart and soul into. With this stuff, it takes you maybe an hour tops to create a beat with some samples and the rapping just comes naturally. Maybe you were just meant for comedy rap. Comedy rap, I've never heard of that term before. You ignore the feeling of failure for the time being. You have things to do and a backpack full of CDs slung over your shoulder. One of the homies told you about this place on the Upper East Side of the city, not too far from your place, but you still took the trip and drove instead of calling a rideshare. Who knows what kind of women you can pull at an open mic. Women gravitate towards you and typically stay for a couple of weeks until they realize how inconsistent you are when it comes to maintaining relationships. Or until one of your baby mamas, probably Tara, finds out you are talking to another woman and tries to sabotage you because she's an evil woman who only wants to see a man lose. Maybe if you had gotten a Ghanaian woman pregnant, your mother wouldn't see you as such a disappointment. Your siblings wouldn't make fun of you every chance they get. Uh, you dealt with enough favoritism growing up. What with how much lighter your skin is compared to your siblings, being the only one to get the light-skinned gene from your great-grandfather on your mom's side. Your parents expected so much from you, but you've done nothing but disappoint, disappoint, disappoint. Yet Alice was different. She never saw your flaws. She was your first love, the woman you wished your mother approved of. They never get along. You've known Alice. Wait, love the woman... So the mother, right, yeah, because they said the mother didn't like her. Uh, they never got along. You've known Alice since you were in high school, but didn't actually start talking to her until you both graduated. So they went to high school together. I guess high school sweethearts in a sense. Well, yeah, whoops, go back. Uh, becoming local rappers brought you both closer and soon you fell in love with her. But the, oh man, it's going too quick. But the love never felt mutual, no matter how much she tried to convince you that it was. You know her love wasn't for people, but for her craft. And why is this auto going here? And it showed more when you got her pregnant and she didn't seem to care about the child you both had. You can't think about that right now. You're already an hour late to this open mic and if you sit in your car any longer someone might call the cops you enter the salon yeah this is a hair salon but instead of the usual chairs and mirrors it's rows and rows of folded chairs the ceiling is littered with spotlights um, bright red neon lights shaped like Roses hug the walls. You'll come here with your daughter one day, or you should at least. She's been asking for braids for a while. I don't know why I was started to autoplay there. It was weird. Uh, you find yourself lingering at the doorway, not wanting to disturb the person on stage, reciting a slam poem, and not a very good one, in your attempt to find a seat. So you wait, listening for a moment before realizing you're ultimately art. You ultimately are not that interested. The bag on your shoulder is slipping. You move your shoulder to adjust it. You scan the area in front of you and just from behind you can already tell you've run into a few familiar faces in here. People you want to talk to, heck no. Uh, but you know they might try to talk to you if you try to perform. Even though you may be a little late for that, hey, who the heck knows what will happen? You didn't realize how long you were lingering near the door until you hear the soft voice of someone speaking right above you as a whisper. Right above a whisper. whisper. Uh, you nearly jump, not expecting anyone to pay much attention to you. You look down in the direction the voice came from. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's Yolanda. Hey, you look new here. You want to perform, or are you just checking out the scene? <laughs> oh, by the way, I just swiped left on you. 
on the struggling app, struggling singles app. She caught you by surprise, and you find yourself staring a little more than you would like to admit. Starstruck or heart eyes, you really can't decide what emotion you want to portray, or you think you're portraying. What the entire blank is wrong with you? <laughs> the man who can sling any blank he wants is suddenly starstruck in front of a woman. A really beautiful woman. God dang it. Oh, no, I mean, maybe. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. My homie told me to come here and check out the scene. Get my clout out, clout up, and pass out some tapes. You a rapper? Uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I am. Or I'm a musician. Stay cool. Yeah, I am. Kinda, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I am. Malik de has been popping on Big Bock lately. Hey! This game, I know, it's a little, a little funny. Rapper, right. Yeah, that's what, that's why you're here. To pass out some tapes and get your cloud up. Get some people to follow you on Big Bock. Maybe bound cloud too. Oh, so I just fell on my near my TV. Here, take a tape. You, you reach into your bag, offering her a tape, one of your nicer ones. <laughs> How can you have a <laughs> nicer mixtape? Uh, a sleek case with your name and number. Oh, it's got because it's got a nice case. Even a heart near the end of it. This one is always safe for the ladies. The look she gives you is typical. You're the only one in the city actively handing out mixtapes, and the majority of people don't even have working CD players in their cars anymore. Uh, you've always considered switching to primarily digital media, but the concept of being unique is what appealed to you. You always stood out no matter what you did, and until you find another way to be unique, you'll keep this going. That's true because, like, we're starting to go into the digital thing where digital age where people are just using Bluetooth and whatnot. I don't even know how that works. Like, what would you do? Like, hand out a? I guess you could hang out, hand out like thumb drives or something, or give like your media link, you know, that has your songs. I guess you could do. I got to see you play in my car though. I don't usually, I don't use it though. <laughs> got a name, Yolanda. You sure? Giving out CDs is the best form of advertising? You know, most people don't even have a CD player anymore. What about BoundCloud? I've been thinking about it. Something about keeping it physical makes it more authentic, you know? I could see that. What if the man decides to close the internet and everything we kept on it is, go it, on it is gone? At least I still got my music in physical form. <laughs> in case the man tries to close the internet. You've read your fair share of theories about how the internet is controlled by a select few companies who can decide to shut it down whenever they want to. And the thought of that is daunting at times. Sure. Losing all of your progress, your fans and haters. It's, a scary, and it's scary enough to keep you awake at night. Fine. I'll take you up on that. But you can't go around blaming the man for everything. Are you one of those people aren't that bad types? You watch as she ponders the question. You're almost tempted to walk away from this entirely, but then you remember she offered to let you perform and is probably one of the people in charge here. Well, yeah, I would say she's in charge. Uh, well, the way people talk in the city, you'd rather not have your reputation ruined over this. Haha, <laughs> what? No, I mean, not really. A lot of them come here and are pretty cool, but I'm always weary, you know. She's one of those. <laughs> She's one of those. Fine, you can't get mad that she doesn't follow your philosophy. Not many people have the IQ to understand it. You just call her dumb. Yeah, I get that. Sometimes you think everything is going great, and then bam, you end up with three kids. They can't take you home. They can't take you home because their parents don't like 
bus. I'm sorry that happened to you. That's really crummy. I've had my fair share of my Korean grandmother being like that until I had to remind her. You let out a small laugh at that, reaching a hand up to rub at the back of your neck. You have a little more in common with this woman than you thought you would. Still, you're treading carefully with the words you say. You can't... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate to miss, like, just a little bit. You can't give her all of you yet. You can't, you can't give her all of you yet. Okay. Uh, my mom is the same way. Always wanting to bring home some Ghanaian women. She still hates my baby mamas, but treats my kids like her, her own. They're with her right now. I'm not Ghanaian, but I am French and Korean. The colonizer and the colonized. Laugh it off. So if I, what if you, you, you would you be considered? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not reading that. <laughs> not that I have a problem with that, as long as you homies don't. As long as the homies don't know. It ain't like I'm blank and a white girl again. Okay, well, too much. That was a one-time thing, just once, and you were still young when you did it. You should have realized she was fetish, fetish, fetishized bit of shizing you when she bragged about how good you were on social media. Like you know your blank game is bomb, but come on now. Keep that on the down low. I don't hook up with men who aren't creatives. But you did pass me a tape and and wait. Is she consider oh my goodness. Maybe after I give it a listen. What is going on here? What? Good lord. No, I, I hear you, Cozy. It's, it's all good. I mean, this is just a game they're playing up, so. Um, you would give yourself a point. I, I know not everyone, you know, not everyone's the same, so. You would give yourself a point for that one, but you have been trying to tone down the misogyny lady. Got a CD player in here? We can always go to my car and pop it in. Ditch this joint. I'm not ditching anything, but I will head head out to listen to this tape. Just two songs. Other people still have to perform, you know. Okay, maybe you should bring out the scoreboard for this one. You always like to log your accomplishments, and so far you've had two. <laughs> There's a scoreboard? Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> Malik won Yolanda Zero. Yeesh. So now we're in the car listening to the the tape. Or the next tape. Uh, you lead her in the direction of your car after passing out a few tapes to people in the back row. She didn't comment on it, so she's probably seen it before. Your car is clean-ish. You keep stuff off the floor, but you are a father of two young kids, and with that comes spills, pours, and the occasional food stain. But you never know who you might pull. Uh, your mother always told you women didn't like a messy man. That's true. You use your remote to unlock the door. Thank God it worked this time. Walking a few steps ahead to open the door for her. Welcome to Casa de Malik. Oh, jeez. You live in your car? Wait, no. <laughs> oh my god. Crack, uh, sound crack limit. Um, Alright, one sec here. Let me try to just... What's the sound here? Alright, let me know if that's a little better. Uh, Sir Khalid, thanks for letting me know. It could be because um, I am this. The headset is wireless, going to my computer, like uh, to the right of me here. So, if it gets if it gets too bad, let me know. I'll try and maybe still a bit. Okay. Um, 
see here. Let me maybe try to turn it off and turn it back on. One sec here. All right, so I just restarted. Let me know if that's any better or whatnot. I don't know why it would be crackling. Does that sound any better or the same? Let me know. Still a bit. Hmm. Not sure what else I can do here. Um, I, mean, I think I can turn down the volume a little bit. That's better. Can you still hear me okay? I tweaked, I tweaked, I turned down the volume a little bit, so hopefully. What about now? It's, uh, it's manageable? Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe I can, like, push my chair back or something. I don't know. All right. Let's see here. How are we doing on time? 12.23. Okay. Uh, you feel yourself flushing my I'm muted here. Okay. Uh, you feel yourself flushing up. This is stupid. You never let women see this part of you until you hit the bedroom. What is it about this woman that, who allows you to be so vulnerable despite just meeting her? All right. She's getting a point for that. <laughs> is she a witch? You heard Is she a witch? You heard those were real. Your mother always told you to stay away from them. Jeez. You ignore the voice in your head as you put in your tapes, skipping to one of your more popular songs. So what did what do you think? Don't sugarcoat it for me. You look like a child about to receive some ice cream as you turn to look at her. She doesn't seem that was awful. Ouch. <laughs> You've heard a lot of negative thoughts about your music, but it felt like she just got you after that one. She probably hears a lot of music from the performers, and you didn't live up to her high standards. Damn. A little harsh. But not everyone can be a lover. You shrug it off as you look towards the car parked in front of yours. You take a deep breath. Swallow that pride, Malik. Nobody wants to see that. Fine. Fair. Not everyone has to like my style. It isn't about your style. I know what you're going for. It's just you need to find the beat to match. So maybe the words were there, but the beat, I don't know, wasn't that good or something, apparently. I've heard a lot of rappers. I'm in here every Friday. Uh-oh, I gotta go back. I have to get back. Oh shoot, I gotta get back. You're not you're not given the chance to reply before she's leaving your car and walking back towards the shop. You jog to meet up with her, skipping ahead of her to open the door. You're smooth with it as you lean down to whisper in her ear, the nervousness of earlier despairing into the evening sky. Now your comps is in full mode. Hey, you gotta use it to your advantage sometimes i'm not done with you 
What? Okay. Boo, that was awful. To be fair, it's been a couple of months since you've tried to spit game. You've been focusing on being a somewhat better father. Dating, uh, dating with two kids is not ideal. She looks flustered. You have to give yourself a point for that dub. <laughs> Link to Yolanda one. Yeesh. Well, now you really can't leave. You already hooked her in. Might as well keep reeling. You take a seat in the back and pull out your phone, scrolling social media to pass time until this thing is over. You watch her from the corner of your eye. She seems to run this place and she smiles a lot. Huh? You avoided thinking about it. You definitely didn't spend the entire past hour thinking about why you liked her smile so much. Absolutely not. That's lame. The lights cut back on and everyone leaves. Slowly but surely, you don't pay attention to them. You got other plans in mind. Malik Patterson will get laid tonight. She looks at peace as she clears the set. You decide to be a gentleman and help her out, reaching down to pick up the mic stand she was holding from the ground. Let me help you with that. She looks surprised when you help her, but you don't pay it any pay it at, you don't pay it any mind. It's all part of the charm. You pick up a few mi more mic stands, placing them where the others are grouped near the back. You know, you don't have to do this. You could have left when everyone else left. I can't be a good guy? Wow, what a world we live in. Yeah, that gets a laugh out of you. Being an unironic incel isn't that funny. She even rolled her eyes at you. Ouch. You bring your hand up to your chest, feigning offense. Fine. Can you put this by the other mice in the corner? Sure thing, princess. Okay, maybe you didn't have to stay princess, but I got her to work up again, and honestly, that's another point for you. <laughs> He's keeping a scorecard, like, what? Who does that? You take your time as you try to properly organize the mic stands, you're trying to make a good impression, or that might just be the perfectionist in you, you really can't tell at this point. You know, you don't have to. I know, I just want to make a good first impression. You didn't have to say that, but you guess you made your mind up. First impression? You like what you saw today? <laughs> you like what you saw today? You let her laugh, abandoning your task before striding towards her. You take a bit closer than a stranger would be, leaning your hand against the beam behind her as you look down at her with a smirk. It's time, your favorite part of flirting, the praise. I like what I'm seeing right now. I'd like it more if you listen to more of my music. <laughs> uh, I'll go with this one. I like what I'm seeing right now. Was that too much? It felt like too much. Well, was it? You've used it before, but there's no way she could have known that. Could she? Don't act like I haven't heard that one a thousand times. You're going to have to do better if you want anything to do with me. Ouch. For a woman is calm, she's feisty. You like that in a woman. Someone who can talk back. Too many women allow you to get away with your BS instead of calling you out, and that's boring. You like creating chaos when you know you're going to get pushed for it. Hmm. Punished probably isn't the right word to use here. Fine. Tell everyone to go home. I'll clean this place myself. What? 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 You think cleaning is going to win me over? Man. <laughs> what the heck? You realize you don't actually want to do that. Okay. Let's backpedal. <laughs> oh, I was kidding. I wouldn't do that. Uh-huh. Unless you want me to. You need to stop talking. <laughs> Oh, what is going on? Quick, how do you get out of this? Wait, that's easy. Just look like you're joking. 
you smirk, and once you notice you're still standing over her, you take a step back to give her some room. Thank God you showered and brushed your teeth before this. If you, <laughs> you're, if you really want, you're going to have to try a lot better than that. Uh, all right. Yeah. You were not expecting that one at all. She really got you there. She didn't expect you to have to try so hard tonight. Guess you have to bust out the big ones then. Sheesh. Fine. What do you want? Don't you have the rest of a mixtape to show me? You perk up, but you can't show your excitement. It'll scare her away. You haven't had much luck being vulnerable with women. Wait. Didn't you say it was awful? Now she's trying to get in your drawers? Man, women these days are too confident. Not that you have anything as a confident woman. You just don't need a heart. Especially in front of a woman you just met. You wonder if she's into... What? What's going on here? Yeah, but I still have to listen to the whole thing. You won. You finally won. And then you were thinking that this is going to be a bust. Calm down, bro. This guy is like too... I don't know. She can step away from this at any moment. And the thought of that is a little scary. Usually... They're wrapped up around your finger, but she's acting like she couldn't care less. Honestly, it's hurting your ego, but you ignore it for the time being as you reach into your bag to grab your keys. Then let's go. You don't get close to her this time. You dangle your keys, you dangle your keys around her head instead, realizing, realizing she's not as short as you thought she was. You can just lean down and... All right. I don't know how much more of this. <laughs> do you, uh, so how do you like I uh, do you smoke? What? You're in love. You're literally in love. You haven't had a girl impress you like this in years. You're staring and you know you're staring, but this guy swears a lot, man. Okay, Malik, come on. You can't just sit here with your mouth hanging open like a fish. You close it and grin instead, sitting back before you speak. Come on, not all rappers smoke. I know, but you do. Uh, how do you know? She reaches in between. Between your seats to pull out a honey Dutch wrapper you probably forgot to throw out. Touche. You reach into your pocket to pull out a lighter, one of your specialty ones that you removed the safety tip off. Fiddling within your hand, you glance at her from the corner of your eye, realizing how close she is. All right, yeah, I think we're going to stop there. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, Validate Struggling singles in your area this is published and developed by vertical joy studios at least on the marketplace on 9 2022 currently for the price of 14.99 interesting uh kind of visual novel type uh, game appreciate you guys stopping by checking out the stream and the coverage and also the video if you're watching this on youtube make sure you guys hit that subscribe and like button also throw a comment in the uh, comment section if you like this or if you didn't what your thoughts were again my name is homie drew can be found at twitch.tv forward slash homie drew also on youtube as homie drew until next time i will see you guys later stay safe out there and have a good one this is homie drew signing off and I will catch you later. Till next time. Peace.